Hi, it's Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And this video is about what are the ketogenic foods. There's only a few of them, and I've been pressed enough by various commenters on YouTube to just like give you all the data without you trying to figure it out yourself. So here we go. These are the ketogenic foods. Use chronometer to find more and to achieve that two to one ratio of fat versus protein plus carbs with healthy non-ketogenic foods such as vegetables. So you can just eat all ketogenic foods and get into ketosis quickly. Um, you could eat ketogenic plus non-ketogenic foods and maintain a two to one ratio or uh, even some for some people a one to one ratio works and um, be in ketosis. But you have a wider variety of foods because you're combining ketogenic foods with non-ketogenic foods together. Okay, and that's ideally the way you're doing it because that's a lifestyle change as opposed to a five-day um, ketogenic uh, fasting type scenario that's temporary. You want to make this a lifestyle thing. Okay, so here, here are two vegetables that are uh, ketogenic and I verified all this with chronometer. So we got avocados and olives. And if you know of more, let me know in the uh, comment section. Thank you. Okay, now there's not a lot of ketogenic foods, but here, here, there, there's categories. Here's nuts, and I looked up and I found that walnuts are ketogenic, macadamia nuts, almonds, peanuts, filberts, and there's more. So you can use chronometer to find out if your favorite nut is ketogenic or not. So nut butters also are ketogenic. I found in chronometer that peanut butter, almond butter, are both ketogenic and there's more. So if you love hazelnut butter, look it up in chronometer. It's probably ketogenic, but you need to verify that. Okay, seeds, chia seeds, sunflower seeds. I confirm that in chronometer, they are ketogenic. If you have a, a seed that you love to snack on all the time, please look it up in chronometer. It's on you. <laughs> I'm just doing this as a favor. Okay, here's the dairy category. So heavy whipping cream, cheddar cheese, feta cheese, brie cheese, blue cheese, and then there's a goat cheese that's soft, and I found all these on chronometer. They're all ketogenic. There's dairy that's not ketogenic. Um, cottage cheese and uh, yogurts are not ketogenic. Now if you love yogurt or you love cottage cheese and you have a certain brand that you love or you make your own, look it up on chronometer. Now, and then I put in capital letters here, at the very bottom I put butter. So the next category plays into butter because the next category is oils. All oils are ketogenic. So I listed off a bunch, coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil, sesame seed oil, walnut oil, MCT oil, avocado oil, black currant seed oil, lard, tallow, evening primrose oil, fish oil, and more. So when, I talk, when I'm talking about this, I'm talking about numbers. I'm talking grams of fat versus protein plus carbs. I'm not talking about quality. So you could buy lard at the largest food super center and it's the uh, most hormone filled and disease ridden piece of lard on the planet. That's not good for you. So we want quality, quality food, quality oils. Of course, the three bad oils are Crisco, uh, shortening, trans fats that are made by man, and margarine but otherwise if it comes from nature it's a higher quality oil or fat then i have some uh, oddballs here that don't necessarily fit into a category but we have the keto damia bar i have a video on that this is a bar that i designed and it's made from cacao butter so and then we have tahini and then coconut meal like the regular just eating a fresh coconut and then the fattiest meats i did a whole video on is meat ketogenic and the answer is not really but you can have like bacon from pork and that's ketogenic and if you have like chuck steak or something uh, that's very fatty um, you got to surpass the grams of protein in the in the meat so the fattiest um, the fattiest meats are ketogenic but you got to look it up okay so um, there's the list of ketogenic foods and if you have more please let me know put them in the comments so you can share this information and um, of course fasting is ketogenic i had somebody in my last video ask me if water was ketogenic and i said no it's not but then i thought well actually it is because if you fast for four days and you're doing nothing but water you're helping your fast go along and the fasting is ketogenic and water is helping 
And then somebody uh, sort of uh, sarcastically asked at the last video, what do I eat? Do I eat air? And I didn't reply back, but the answer is, if you fast, you could say you're eating air. There's people who call themselves breatharians, and they claim they're eating the universal energy. Okay, but actually they're fasting. Okay, so is water and air ketogenic? It is, because it's fasting. So I just want to slide that in there, um, because it's, it's important to understand what we're trying to do is get the, all your cells to burn fat to get away from sugar. So if you stop eating food, the sugar in the blood goes down, then your body starts mobilizing the fats that you've been storing, and it turns that fat in, into ketones. Ketones are water soluble, so ketones are not fat, but you, your body's got to make them. Um, and I, one last point before I turn this uh, camera off is that I just want to, um, I've said it before, but I want to verify that you know that you can have all this fat and it's super healthy, but if you add sugar to it, that's where the disease comes in. That's where the damage, the inflammation, et cetera, et cetera, comes in. So when you, do, when you go keto like this, you're doing ketogenic eating, and then you come out of it and you do low-carb eating, you're still avoiding the bad sugars, the, the junk food and stuff, and fruit is a dessert. Okay, so fruit like once a week or twice a week at the most. And then um, on the vegan half of this equation, um, it's still true that sugar is, and fat is bad. So in the vegan half, they're eating uh, just sugar. They're filling their, their body up with healthy sugars, the plants, the vegetables, and they're avoiding the fat. Okay, so that's fine. Um, but if you're a vegan, you can't go ahead and eat pastries and um, junk food. I've seen people online talk about, well, since I'm a vegan, now I can eat donuts. No, you can't. You still want to avoid the bad junk food. Okay, so this, I wanted to share this with you so you can help yourself with your own health. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please share it because this is very concise and people have been asking me for this information for four months. I've been saying, please look it up yourself. Well, I've been badgered enough <laughs> by various uh, YouTube uh, commenters that I'm giving it to you all right now. All right, thanks.